Thank you for watching this video. I really wanna help break down med school and how to get into med school. It's a complicated process and being around a bunch of undergrads sometimes can get a little confusing because you're hearing different things. But I wanna keep giving you insider's advice as someone who's interviewed pre-med students, as someone who now interviews a potential residency candidates, I wanna give you my insider advice to give you a few shortcuts to shave off a few years from this whole journey. Hey, are you a doctor? Can you give me some advice? Yeah, I can. All right, cool, man. Look, I'm a pre-med student. I need to figure out what I'm doing. It's my first year in college. Everyone keeps telling me I gotta get this degree, gotta get that degree, that minor, this minor. I'm kinda lost. Can you give me a little help? How much money you got? Okay, but for real, I need to find out what degree I should get. Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be answering a really common question that I've been getting on Instagram, and it's about pre-med students and what degree they should be pursuing in college. So I remember being in your shoes and the conversation would kind of go like this. Hey man, so what do you think? Like, what kind of degree should I get? I'm here taking chemistry, organic chemistry, but I don't really know what kind of degree I should get. Well, let's think about it. So Dr. Maida, do you know what kind of degree I should get? Should it be something like chemistry, organic chemistry, physics, biology? Well, man, you're in good hands right now. The most important thing is, is first off, you gotta take all your pre-med classes and that varies from each med school, but basically these pre-med classes consist of chemistry, both general chemistry one, two, organic chemistry one, two, and their associated labs. Every med school is different. It might require one class versus another, but overall you're gonna see that they're gonna require chemistry, organic chemistry, physics, biology, and maybe genetics. You not only gotta take all those classes, but you gotta master those classes too. And that's why it's important you pick a degree that's gonna help you obtain mastery of those classes. So when you're applying to med school, and getting ready for your MCAT, you're ready to take your MCAT. But wait a minute, dude, you still haven't answered the question. What degree am I supposed to pursue? I mean, you're telling me to take these pre-med classes and you're just beating around the bush. What degree should I get? Pretty much the degree you get does not matter. Yes, it does not matter. I've seen people get into med school with engineering degrees, finance degrees, and economic degrees. So the type of degree that you get does not matter. Now with that being said, most students are gonna pursue a science degree and that's something that I recommend. Because when you're pursuing a degree that doesn't involve the basic sciences, you're gonna end up taking a lot more classes that you may not need in med school. And for some applicants that might distract you a little bit. For instance, if you're pursuing a degree in finance or economics, the majority of your classes are gonna be about crunching numbers. And you're not gonna be crunching many numbers in med school. You're gonna be doing a lot more memorizing and taking a lot more basic science courses. With that being said, you can get a degree in finance, but that also means you gotta take all of the pre-med classes associated with um, the medical requirements for that medical school. So for instance, if you're pursuing a degree in finance or accounting, you're also gonna have to take chemistry one and two, organic chemistry, you're also gonna have to take physics and biology. And that's gonna add on a lot of classes to the classes you already have in accordance to your degree. This is the reason why most people pursue a degree as some sort of basic science degree like biology, chemistry, physics, organic chemistry. You can also pursue a degree in biochemistry, biomedical engineering. The list is almost endless. Now when you're pursuing a degree in physics, chemistry, or biology, a lot of the pre-med classes that are required are already factored into the program for that degree. So you're not gonna have to take extra Gen Chem 1, extra OChem 1 and 2. Those classes are already gonna be in your degree and it's already gonna be a part of your program as opposed to you doing a uh, finance degree such as accounting um, or economics, then you're gonna have to take those extra classes. 
Now I'll tell you a little bit about me. I pursued a degree in microbiology. I feel like everyone in undergrad was pursuing a degree in biology and I didn't want to do the same thing. I wanted to differentiate myself a little bit as an applicant. In addition to that, I wasn't completely sure that I wanted to go right into med school. I thought I wanted to pursue a career in genetic engineering and having a degree in microbiology would be more specific towards that career path. So when choosing a degree, number one, if you're focused mainly on med school and you know 100% that that's your goal, then you should pursue a degree, something like along the lines of biochemistry, biology, chemistry, physics, even microbiology, something along the basic sciences that'll help incorporate some additional classes to prepare you for your MCAT. And that's the reason why you find most people who are pursuing med school to pursue one of those degrees because a lot of the classes that are required for med school are already incorporated into those degrees. Now, what's the important take home point of this? Whether you're pursuing a science degree or a non-science degree or a basic science degree, excuse me, or a non-basic science degree, what matters is, is that you do well on your pre-med classes. You gotta ace those classes. So when it comes to your overall GPA, as a pre-med student, you gotta focus on your science GPA. So when I was in medical school, I had the privilege of interviewing a lot of pre-med students. And one thing that we would look at is the science GPA. We would look at that more so than the overall GPA. So you could be getting A's in your English 101 or 102 class and that geography class that you know everyone gets an A in. But we've kind of figured that out. So you gotta focus on the pre-med classes and make sure that you do really well in regards to your science GPA. So here's your take home message. Whether you pursue a degree in finance, economics, microbiology, biology, or biochemical engineering, you have to focus on acing your pre-med classes and do yourself a favor and go on this website that I'm gonna link up here and go ahead and check out the med schools that you're interested in and see if they have any additional requirements for your application to their med school. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.